Hi guys, Good Golf here, with a new video on mirror networking in Unity. This time I'm going to add health and damage code to the game. Let me first show what I'm aiming for. The magic spells do damage within the area of effect. The players have hit points. The hit points are shown in the top right of the screen, and when they reach zero, the player dies. Before we go into the scripts, let me briefly show the setup of the player prefab and the UI elements. When I open the player prefab, you see that I added an empty placeholder, which is positioned slightly above the player's head. Underneath it, I added two mesh texts, which will represent the player name and the player hit points. Both are referenced and updated in the player script. In the UI, I added a couple of text mesh pro objects, where the timer clock is shown in the middle, and two texts to the right, which will be used for the local player's hit points, and for game-wide messages. Ok, next to the scripts. It all starts with the health script which keeps track of the hit points each player has. On the server the maximum hit points are set at the start of this match. Also, hit points can only be changed on the server and when the hit points reach zero an onDeath method is invoked. This event routes to the player scripts which get a few new methods. A player died method, which sends a remote procedure call to all clients. The RPC checks who died and shows a message in the top right of the screen when it happens. The message is different depending on who died, the local player or the other player. In order for this on death event to work, it first needs to be attached. That's done in the on server add player event of the network manager. When a new connection is established, it finds the associated player and gets its health component. It adds a listener to the health script on death event linking it to the player script player died method. Last, the spells need to deal damage. Again, this can only take place on the server, so we use the onStart server to kick off the do damage method repeatedly. Do damage uses physics overlap sphere to find all colliders in range, then checks if any of these have a health component. If so, then it deals damage by using the remove hit points method in the health script. This is a bit of a brute force method. Alternatively, you can use collider triggers. Check the mirror tanks example for this method. Ok, that's it for today. Next time we'll take a look at the lobby where players can go to a room before joining the game. I hope you liked this video and if so then please give it a thumbs up.